So hi Haskellus. Um, there seems to be a demand for some real world applications or how to structure applications, how to go about this in Haskell. And uh, so I decided I'd do a short um, video tutorial series uh, in implementing such an application from scratch. And what I want to do is um, to show how we process uh, binary satellite data. Um, so we get a stream of binary data and uh, pass them, um, do the protocol handling, and then display them finally in a graphical use interface. So this is uh, probably a little bit different than um, some normal web applications we would um, expect from something. Uh, but I think this could be quite interesting. So uh, I will start this from scratch. Uh, there will be a Git repository where uh, every uh, step of the video, also every video of the series, will have its own tag so that you can um, uh, check that and uh, uh, play around with the code if you want to. Um, yeah, so um, I just want to say that it's one way to do it. You can do these things in a lot of different ways in Haskell. You have very uh, much different possibilities. You can go with uh, monad stacks, you can go with uh, effect systems, uh, logging uh, configuration can be different, um, the processing, parsing, um, the graphical interface, everything can be much done much more differently than I do. So this is Take this just as an example. So um, I will try to keep the videos short and also if there are long boring parts to cut them out or, or speed them up and um, uh, hopefully you, will, you won't see me messing up things uh, a lot. So let's see how this turns out. So uh, let's change to the screen. Okay, so let's start by first creating a project. So I will do this, we we'll make first a directory. Um, let's call it and then let's initialize it with Kabel. So I like to do things with both Kabel and stack um, so that you can build it with both. Should I generate sensible default? No. This is a library and executable main uh, 3.0. Yes, yes. Uh, let's give this MIT license. My name, my email. Um, uh, um, tutorial, tutorial, elementary. Um, and this is something, yeah, network. Let's see for that. Um, source X, uh, source, yes. Uh, test, yes. SQL 2010, yes. Okay. So now we have the cover structure for this project. Uh, let's also initialize now stack. Okay, so we now have a stack YAML file. Um, so let's set up the project. Let's go into the editor. Oh, here we are. So you get the, the default structure from Kabal. So you have uh, the libraries in source. Source X is the main file. And we have the test suite here. You can change log tank. Then we have the stack YAML file. Um, let's see, we got LTS 17.13 which is the current actual latest one. And we have the Kabal file. So um, for the Kabal file, uh, we have this library section, the executable and then the test suite. Um, for the test suite, uh, we'll use that probably later. Um, so the library just, um, we have now this, this one module. Okay, we have now we only built uh, depend on base. So let's add some uh, some other libraries. So we uh, we will depend on, on Rio. Uh, I like to receive Rio as an alternative prelude, and uh, for for some applications in this area, it's quite nice to to use it. Uh, Rio comes with unlift.io, 
and in a very good combination and also with conduit and conduit extra we will probably use ASON and ASON pretty for JSON things um, Autoparsic Autoparsic and Autoparsic binary uh, probably the text package yeah let's see how we far we come with this and then we will go iteratively over this um default language resource theory yes uh, and what i also want to add is some default extensions overloaded string so that we can use every string literal for our, for our string text byte string whatever we need uh, bank patterns we will need then some extensions which I really like to use for this kind of stuff is um, numeric underscores binary literals. Um, okay, since we use Rio, which is an alternative preload, we have a no implicit preload. And we will use derive generic probably. Uh, maybe scope type variables. Hmm. Let's see. We will add some more as we go along, most probably. Okay, let's store this. Um, let's try to build that. Oh, yes, right. So the fir first thing, we now have I.O., but uh, we have no preload loaded, so... And this probably has to be also done in main. So that we have some kind of preload available. Let's see. Yeah, and the string puts through line function is probably not in scope. Um, we will use the text version. So, uh, Data text IO T. Let's reformat this. And I'm using the inbuilt formatter here with uh, in, in uh, Visual Studio Code. We can with uh, Control Shift I and then save that, build it. Uh, okay, yeah, we have the same in the. So let's just. Copy this line for now. Most probably we will remove that later. And yes, we need in for the main. Of course, we haven't added the libraries to the we have added the libraries to the to the library section, but we haven't added them to main. Um, Let's see what we will need here. And for now, I don't care about version bounds. We use a stack LTS, uh, which has fixed versions. But um, uh, for a cover distribution, then later we would have to care about it. OK, and of course, the same applies to the default options. Uh, extension, sorry. Just copied it to the main as well. And now we're good to go. So, and if we type stack run telemetry, we should get hello Haskell. So, this was easy. We have now set up the project. Uh, one thing to to additionally we do is um, we want to have some test data for this file. So and I, have, I have a binary file which is already prepared. So make it test data. And then I just copied it from another project. Uh, project test data tm. Signal raw 
to test data. So now we have just finished basic setup for this project. Uh, if we use stack build or stack install or stack run for the first time, then probably it will download a lot of um, libraries from, from this uh, long-term snapshot and uh, build them so that you can use them. I have already done that, so um, they are already on my machine. This is why it, it gets it got quite quickly to run a program. And yeah, this, was, this concludes the first short session. So let's now, I think in the next session, we will start with some more practical work. We'll have a look at how to connect um, to, to the telemetry, have a look at Conrad's, and yeah, let's see.